busy with something. Ugh, just a few minutes, okay? Be right down soon. <sighs> That's Zoe. Probably talking to Jenny again. That girl spends an hour on the phone with her every day. Well, now that we're all here... Zoe, how was school today? I never got the chance to ask you. Oh, um, it was all right, I guess. Nothing special. Well, I guess talking to Jenny was the highlight of my day, but other than that... You don't seem to enjoy anything these days, Zoe. Well, at least you have Jenny, right? Plus, as long as your grades are top-notch, I have nothing to complain about. Your daughter is bored, Mom. That is quite a lot to be concerned about. I want some excitement out of my boring life once in a while. Every day is just go to school, study, talk to Jenny, come back home, and sleep. Well, for someone as smart as you, Zoe, I'm sure you'll figure out something. You could always get a boyfriend, too. Yeah, right. I'd rather be single forever than choose someone from my school. They're all a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me. How was school for you, Jack? Anything special? Let's see. Top marks in math, science, sports classes are great as always. Oh, my homeroom professor asked me to sign up for class president today. I haven't thought about it before but I think it could be a great learning experience. That's amazing. For someone like you, it should be a walk in the park, right? <laughs> you bet. It'll be a cake walk like everything else. Besides, I did learn from the best. Weren't you also the class president during your high school days, Mom? Oh, stop it, Jack. That was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny just told me to turn on the news. I think something bad must have happened. She seems worried. <sighs> Don't worry about it. Jenny worries about everything these days. Remember that one time she was scared to death when you wore sneakers instead of your school shoes? <laughs> <laughs> Look, just turn it on, okay? Maybe she's right this time. Oh, all right. Jack, turn on the TV, will ya? Ah, uh, sure. Attention! Attention everyone! We're interrupting our news segment to inform you that a high-profile convict has just escaped from a high-security prison. The details of how he got out are still unclear, but we urge everyone to stay cautious. This criminal has been known for multiple homicides over the past five years, and he will stop at nothing to start again. For you and your family's safety, we once again urge you to remain vigilant. Some people really are a stain on this planet, and this person is no exception. He'll stop at nothing to put you and your family in harm's way, purely because he finds it fun. Don't become his next victim at any cost. If you happen to see this man, contact local authorities immediately. See? I told you she wasn't exaggerating this time. We have a killer on the loose. Calm down, Zoe. I'm sure the police will get to him soon. We need not worry too much. Besides, this is the safest neighborhood in the country, remember? Your brother is right, Zoe. Sure, it's good to be a little cautious, but let's not worry ourselves to death here. Oh, that must be our next door neighbor. He just moved in a few days ago. Let's go and say hi. Hey. 
Hey, what are you doing, Zoe? What does it look like I'm doing? Didn't you hear the news? I need evidence if I'm going to arrest that creep. I'm certain he's the criminal that escaped. But you haven't even talked to him yet. How can you even accuse someone like that without any evidence? Jack's right, Zoe. Besides, this is the safest neighborhood in town. They're not going to let convicted killers in without a strict screening process. We can rest safe for now, okay? Ugh, you two are so naive. Whatever, I'll expose him as a criminal my own way, even if you two won't. Well, good luck with that. Anyway, I'm going to go help him unload the car. See you later. You idiot! That's just what he wants! Why are you in such a hurry to die? <laughs> you won't get rid of me that easily. Anyways, see ya! Um, hello sir. I'm Jack, your next door neighbor. My mom told me you'd be arriving today. Can I help you unload your car? It'll be much faster that way. Not necessary. I'll do it myself. I've unloaded your things anyways. It'll be much easier now, right? I told you, kid. I can do this on my own. Thank you, Jack. It's getting late. You should go home now. Um, sure. Oh, let me know if you need anything else. Sure. That's the spirit, Jack. Making friends already. No wonder your teacher wants you to run for school president. Thanks, Mom. He seems like a great dude, too. A little shy, maybe, but he seems nice. That's not what I saw. Did you see the way he looked at you? He just wants you to think he's harmless. I bet he's plotting to take your life when the time is right. Whatever you say, Zoe. For now, though, why don't you hatch a plot for when you and Jack will go to sleep? You two have school tomorrow, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, no one in this house believes me. Again? God, I hate it when this happens. Calm down. I know it might rain today, but if we walk super fast, we should be at school in no time. This is all your fault, Jack. You take forever to get ready. I'm so upset right now. I can see that. <laughs> Mr. Matt, good morning to you. Didn't expect to see you so soon. Where are you headed to? Downtown. I have some work to do. Need a ride? I'll drop you two off. Really? That's a great idea. We can get to school earlier than anyone. Zoe. Jack, are you insane? I'm not getting in a car with him. What if he pulls something? Jack, this is a terrible idea. We'll just wait for the bus. Everything okay with you two? You seem a bit anxious. Don't worry, Mr. Matt. My sister is just uncomfortable around strangers. Don't mind her. Jack? You know that's not true. Come on, Jack. Look, let's just walk, okay? I promise I'll walk fast this time. I understand. It's okay if you want to go by yourselves, but it's gonna rain soon. Oh, we don't mind it at all, Mr. Matt. Thank you again. 
After we're back from school, let's go for lunch or dinner sometime, okay? Huh, that doesn't sound too bad. I'll think about it. Don't die so we don't die. Not today. If he pulls anything out of the ordinary. Oh, oh Lord, I'm scared. Hope you two don't mind me driving fast. <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem. I'm used to much worse. Huh, we'll see about that, kid. Never go on a drive with that creep ever again. I saw my life flash before my eyes more times than I can count. Oh, come on, Zoe. It wasn't that fast, was it? For you, maybe. <sighs> Look, let's just forget about it, okay? I've got places to be. Avoiding the subject as always. All right, then. See ya. Trevor, get me the usual, please. Four of them. That'll be four pepperoni pizzas with stuffed cheese crusts. Though I'm curious, why four this time? You always order three. Is Jack looking to try out for the school rugby team? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Actually, someone moved into our neighborhood yesterday and we're having a picnic together. I see. By the way, uh, how's Zoe? I heard she was trying out for her cheerleading team. <laughs> cheerleading? She never told me about it. Maybe she wanted to keep it a secret for a little while. I know my little daughter. Well, I can give her some pointers if you like. I've had experience with managing cheerleaders back in high school. I'll tell you what, maybe I could come over to your place and... <laughs> oh, sorry, Trevor. Give me a minute, will ya? Speak of the devil, Mr. Matt, I didn't expect to see you here. Oh, I'm so sorry. You can call me Linda. I'm the mother of Jack and Zoe. I heard you drop them off at school today. Just passing by. I heard this place is the best pizza in town. Your best pizza. I'll take two. Oh, uh, uh, sure, uh, I'll get what you and Linda ordered. <laughs> he looks so frightened. Do you always have this effect on people? Seems like it. No idea why. This is a terrible idea, Mom. Please, just leave it outside his door or something. <laughs> Zoe, Mr. Matt just moved into our neighborhood. The least we can do is have dinner with him. What is so wrong with that? Why are you overthinking this so much? Besides, I want Mr. Matt to try our homemade cookies. I'm sure he'll love them. Mom, maybe this is Zoe's way of injecting some drama into her life. Didn't she say she was bored of everything lately? Jack, this was not what I had in mind. <laughs> <laughs> Lighten up, Zoe. Mr. Matt is super nice. Besides, I'll be by your side. I won't let anyone or anything harm you that easily. He was a convicted felon for a reason, Mom. You know what? Never mind. No one listens to me anyway. Let's march onwards to our deaths if that's what you want. Oh, wait, Mom. If I'm marching to my death, I still have to write my will. Yes, 
she's not in. Huh? Oh wait, his backyard door is open. I think he's in the backyard. Keep your guard, Zoe. Don't let your guard down. Mr. Matt, I thought you were out of the house. I like to be in the backyard at this time. Oh, by the way, just call me Matt. Um, okay. By the way, Matt, we brought you some homemade cookies. We hope you like them. Thank you. Been a while since someone gave me a present. I'm glad we could be the special ones then. <laughs> Tell you what, why don't you join me for dinner today? I don't mind some company for the night. Mm? No, this is a terrible idea. Don't you see the way he's talking? I don't like this at all. Actually, Jack and I were thinking about that. We need to introduce you to the neighborhood. So let's do that over dinner. Right this way, I'll open the door. Please listen to me. We can't just go inside the lion's den. We're like little lambs going to a slaughterhouse. Zoe, cut it out, will you? It's just a dinner party. Maybe we'll get to know Matt even better. Even if you don't trust him, just give him a chance, will you? I am not going to die today. There's no way. I need an exit plan. Somehow, somewhere. And you won't believe how smart my Zoe is. She looks sulky, but she's the best in everything she does. Don't you, Zoe, dear? Did you tell Matt about your grades? No, I didn't. It's, um, well, it's not that important. Zoe's great and all, but we all know I outmatch her in almost everything. <laughs> Besides, today I applied to be class president, too. It's a huge opportunity for me. Nice. You seem like an okay kid. You'll get far. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go to the bathroom now. I feel a little uneasy. Sorry. Second floor, on your left. You'll find it there. Right. I'll be back. Alright. Somehow I need some dirt on this guy. Weapons, illegal possessions, anything. I'll expose who you really are, mister. Take one more step, Zoe, and you might not like how this ends. Oh, um... Uh, Matt, I, I, uh, got lost. Bathroom is to the left on the second floor, remember? Right, I'll go there now. Oh, and Zoe, your phone. You dropped your phone, Zoe. Here. Um, I'm sorry. Thank you, Matt. Nope, he didn't suspect a thing, Jenny. I'm lucky I got out, though. I thought for sure I was dead when he caught me. Oh, Zoe, please, please be careful. If Matt really is a convicted killer, you know what he can do to you, right? Oh my gosh, I don't want to think about that. Jeez, Jenny, my mom was right about you worrying yourself to death. Calm down, okay? I can take care of myself, especially against that creep. I know, I know. It's just, oh, I can't bear seeing you in this situation. 
I would have ran a million miles away from home if a creep moved into my neighborhood. What was that? What was... what? Zoe? Zoe? I heard some glass breaking, but Mom and Jack are out for the night, and I'm all alone. It must be him! The, the criminal! Zoe, are you okay? Zoe? Zoe? Calm down, girl. Besides, I have all the doors locked and everything. He won't get in from anywhere. Um, you know what? I'll call you back later, Jenny, okay? I need to see what's up. Call me later and tell me you're safe, okay? Don't forget to call me, Zoe! Oh, Jenny, I guess some things never change. something. No, I'm not hallucinating. That was definitely someone outside. Hey, Zoe. Sorry for disturbing you at this time, but your mom dropped this. Oh, um, uh, thank you, Matt. I'll let her know you stopped by. She's, uh, she's probably watching Netflix upstairs and, you know, she loves watching those murder mysteries. That's all right. By the way, you have any more of those cookies? I enjoyed them more than I imagined. Uh, not right now. I, uh, I'll tell Mom you asked, and, uh, we'll make more soon. Yeah, that's right, we'll, we'll make more soon. All right, Zoe. So, uh, I'll be going to sleep now, okay? See you later, Matt. Or tomorrow. Um, right. So, good night, Matt. Zoe. Sleep well tonight, Zoe. Let your family know I was here. Don't want them to worry too much now, do we? Let me know if you want me to drop you and Jack off at school tomorrow. Fine, Mom. Just a little phased out, that's all. I've never seen you like this, Zoe. Something bothering you? You can tell us, you know. What's the point, Jack? You two won't listen to a word I say anymore. What difference does it make if I tell you? I think it was a burglar who tried to break in. I didn't see his face. A burglar? In this neighborhood? Are you sure, sweetheart? I know what I saw, Mom. He was dressed in all black. I think he had a knife, too. But then, all of a sudden, he disappeared and someone knocked on the door. Guess who it was? Ugh, let me guess. It was Matt, and you think he had something to do with this. You see, Mom? That attitude right there. Yes, it was Matt, and he wanted to return your scarf. But I don't think that's all there is to it. I bet he was trying to break in and kill me. He saw I was going through that door. He's hiding something, and he wanted to dispose of me. I'm certain of it. I just know it. Look, sweetie, you look tired. You have a lot on your mind. Why not sleep it off? We can discuss this later, okay? When you feel better, I promise I'll hear you out. For now, 
Get some sleep, sweetie. Fine. I guess I'll go to bed. Maybe you're right. I'm just overthinking everything again. Maybe I'll feel better tomorrow. In the meantime, I'll make a snack for mom and me. Sure you don't want anything, Zoe? Leave me alone, Jack. I already ate. I'm going to sleep. Oh, Zoe. Maybe I was too harsh with her. Don't let it get to you, Jack. I remember when I was little and someone broke into the house. It's terrifying. You start overthinking about everything. You start doubting everyone, even your family. I just hope the shock wasn't too much for her. I wouldn't be too worried. Zoe is a fighter, remember? Something like this won't get her down. Maybe you're right. It's just when I saw her like that, uh, maybe I'm overthinking too. Well, we can always install security cameras in the house. That way we can know for sure if something like this happens again. I'll think about it, Jack. By the way, aren't you supposed to make some snacks for me? I'm starving. Hey, didn't you say you were stuffed just an hour ago? <laughs> <laughs> Hey mom, Jenny and I are going to the mall today. Can you drop us off? I don't want to use the bus again. <sighs> Sweetie, I'm busy right now, see? Why don't you go and ask Jack? I'm sure he won't mind. <sighs> Fine. I'll ask Jack then. Hey, Jack, Mom told me to ask you if you can drop me and Jenny to the mall. Not right now, Zoe. Can't you see I'm busy? Ask me after an hour. But me and Jenny leave in half an hour. Uh, look, I'll buy you dinner too, okay? How about that? If you take me to Space Diner, then I might consider... Place is crazy expensive. <sighs> you know what? Okay, you, me, and Jenny will go to Space Diner. Happy now? Anything to avoid the bus. Deal. I'll be outside in 10 minutes. brings you all the way store. Just thought we'd have pizza for lunch. How about the usual? Three of them. Three pepperoni pizzas with the stuffed cheese crust. They'll be ready in five minutes. This better be as good as you told me, Zoe. I can't eat that food, remember? It might ruin my digestion. That might ruin my skin, my body. Oh gosh, I hope this pizza's as good as you say. Zoe! These are the best pizzas in town, right? Calm down, girl. When have I ever lied to you? Every store we've been to has been incredible, as you always say. I know, I know. I don't doubt you, Zoe. But still, I can't help it, you know? You know, you two make a great couple. Sure you're not hiding anything from me? <laughs> Shut it, Jack. I'm not in the mood. Here you go. I made sure to make them extra stuff just the way you like it, Zoe. <laughs> you know what? I'll add in a 10% discount too. How does that sound? Trevor, me and Ginny are here too, you know. You could at least say hi. Oh, he hey, uh, hope you all have fun. I, uh, I got some work to do now, so bye. You believe that guy? Well, at least we got our pizzas. Agreed. 
Let's avoid the bad chairs, okay? I don't have to remind you what happened that one time. Oh, goodness, that was horrible. Later, Jenny. We'll talk about it later. see you. Well, I don't dance, but I do some cheerleading, I guess. Maybe Mom already told you. She did. I was just curious, that's all. I had a daughter once, and she loved dancing. She'd dance around the house without getting tired at all. I'd marvel at her energy. She was a real sweetheart. Um, so what happened to her? Sounds like you're not seeing her anymore. One day she got really sick. Sadly, she... I don't like talking about it much. It was a long time ago, and I... I still tear up thinking about it. It's okay. I... I'm uh, sorry for your loss. Thank you. Actually... It's why I moved to this town. Thought I needed some space after my wife and daughter were taken from me. I guess I can understand. Now that I think about it, Zoe is the one most likely to get rich. I guess being rich would be fun, much less boring than my school, that's for sure. Jenny told me about all the boys swooning over you, though. You sure you don't like the attention? Swooning? Me? Jenny, you never told me about any of this. Oh, um, uh, well, uh, you told me you don't like the boys at school, so, uh, yeah, I, I thought you won't be interested. Sorry for putting you in the spotlight like that. <laughs> Hey, uh, Jack, have you seen my phone? I don't have it on me. Zoe, you'd never give me your phone if your life depended on it. I'm not asking whether you have it. Have you seen it anywhere? Jenny, have you? Oh no, not your phone. Is someone stalking you? Zoe? Zoe, you need to find your phone now! Oh, I can't stand the suspense. Oh, no, 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 no. I guess she can't help. Jack, please tell me you saw a phone lying down somewhere. Nope. Guys, I'll be back, all right? I have to use the restroom. I'll be back! Are you? What do you want? You've been stalking me for weeks now. You even broke into my house. What do you want from me?
Zoe? Zoe? Are you okay? Speak to me! Zoe, please don't be dead! Oh no! Jack, I'll call an ambulance! Please don't be dead, Zoe! 911, for emergency, please. Fine. My head still hurts, I guess. The nurse told me it was just a slight concussion and that I shouldn't go to school for a few days. I'm lucky to be alive if you ask me. I thought he would kill me then and there. <laughs> Who was it, Zoe? Who would do something like this? Don't worry, Mom. I've taken care of everything. I've called the police and explained everything to them. They should be arriving with the news. Zoe, good to see you're doing well. The doctors told me everything. Never mind that. Did you get him, officer? Is he finally behind bars? Zoe, we've searched Mr. Matt completely and he's totally clear. There's nothing out of the ordinary. We looked at his possessions as well. What? That's impossible. It was him. I know it was him. You've made a mistake, officer. Zoe, did you see your attacker's face? Did you get a good look? I... I didn't, but officer, I know it was him. It has to be. It has to. Why don't you head with us to the station and see for yourself? He's still under interrogation as we speak. If we don't find anything, then, well, he's free. If you ask me, it must be that high-profile criminal that escaped a while ago. I've heard multiple reports talking about a black hooded figure walking around town at night. My guess is he's the one who attacked you. But if it's not Matt, then who is it? Who's been stalking me all this time? No clue. But Zoe, I suggest you be careful, okay? Jack told me how carelessly you ran after him. He could have hurt you badly, or worse. I understand, officer. I'll be more careful. So Matt, where were you at the night that Zoe was attacked? I was at the movies with a good friend. Look, we've been through this already. Why don't you ask him instead? Plus, there are security cameras all around the cinema I went to. Check those as well. We've checked it all. I just wanted to ask you personally. Besides, I saw that hooded figure around Zoe's house before. There's no chance it was me. However, I might be able to keep Zoe safe from him next time. That's none of your concern. Well, hmm. Mr. Matt, from everything we've seen, you're no longer a suspect. You're free to go. We apologize for the misunderstanding. Thank you, officer. I don't blame Zoe. She always seems so scared when she's talking to me. We'll be watching, though, for anything suspicious. If you pull any kind of stunt, we'll be the first ones to know. Mark my words, that will not be a good day for you.
The police say it wasn't Matt, but I'm still not convinced. He must have bribed the officer or something. There's literally no one else who could have pulled it off. So you scared me to death back there, you know? I can't afford to see you in that state again. Please be careful this time. Jeez, Mom, I'm sorry I made you worry. Your little girl will be more careful next time. I'm serious, girl. Really, gave me a scare. Besides, aren't you alone in the house today? Make sure to lock all the windows and doors. You don't want that creep visiting you again now, do you? Already ahead of you. Closed all the doors and windows. There's no way he'll get in today. Not under my watch. Jenny, I think he's here. I'll call you later, okay? Not again, not again! Girl, be careful! Look, just calm down, okay? I'm here with you. I'll always be... We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Sorry, Jenny, but you won't be of much help. Zoe, what's up with you? He... he's here again! He's here for me! <laughs> Stay right here, Zoe. I'll deal with this. A few minutes later... Jenny told us everything. Are you alright, Zoe? What happened? The hooded creep came for me again. Matt went inside the house. I took him down for you. This one was one tough cookie. No wonder he managed to creep up to Zoe. I'll call the police. This jerk will not get away this time. <laughs> oh, Zoe, I'm so glad you're safe. It's a good thing Jenny called me when she did. I don't know what could have happened. Sweetie, I was so worried. You and Jack are here, Mom, and that's all that matters right now. I'm just glad we got that creep before he got to anyone else. Who is he anyway?
He's been causing havoc ever since he got out of jail. I never thought he'd get himself some plastic surgery to hide his identity. Good job, Zoe. We can bring him to justice now. Now that I think about it, Trevor would always act so weird around me. He's just as much of a creep as Matt. Well, that creep just saved your life, Zoe. Maybe you should thank him after all of this is over. I've already apologized to him on behalf of the police. Well, sweetie, don't you have something to say to Matt? Matt, I'm so sorry about everything. I'm sorry for how I acted and for everything I said about you. I... I was just scared of something happening to me. I never thought of how I might hurt you by all the things I've said. Please forgive me. It's okay, Zoe. I don't blame you. I have friends who tell me I look scary. <laughs> you know, my daughter was about the same age as you when she passed away. When I heard that creep Trevor was out to hurt you, I got really worried. I guess you could say, I got the chance to protect someone that reminded me of my daughter. Matt, thank you. I don't know if I can ever make it up to you. Well, there's one more thing you could do. Do you have any more of those cookies from last time? I'd love to have some. Oh, sure. I'll get some right away. this wretched place again, I guess. After all I did to get out. Can it? You'll be here for much longer than the last time, chump. Just you wait. I wouldn't be so sure. I got out once and I'll get out again. I'll find a way to be reunited with Zoe once and for all. And this time, no one will get in my way. Yeah, sure thing, kid. You have all the time in the world to think about that. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show all of you. 